Welcome to episode two of our stem cell series with Dr. Joy Kong. Dr. Kong, what are the major stem cell types that are of clinical relevance in the U.S.? Uh, the major stem cell types will be, will be two, the embryonic stem cells versus adult stem cells. So embryonic stem cells are very, very young cells. They're formed uh, at a very early stage of embryo. They're obtained about five to seven days after fertilization. So that's when a little ball of cells will be formed, empty ball, and inside of it is what's called inner cell mass. And it's among those cells that you know, certain cells can be taken out and that's what that's called an embryonic stem cell and that has the potential to become any cell in your body and then we come to adult stem cells and that's either cells from you and me you know of our own age or from a newborn baby so the birth tissue that comes with a newborn that's actually uh, adult stem cell even though we think of them as babies but when you look at it you know from the em embryonically speaking this is very very much mature cell it's it's the full human has been formed so because they are further down and they're more mature they're also limited in what they can become so even though they're stem cells um, but the stem cells have limitations they can't just become anything you want in your body uh, what's the advantage of that? The advantage is that it won't go haywire. It has a definite pathway, so it's not going to become anything that, that the, 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 any potential that uh, like what embryonic stem cells can, can, can lead to, because that's one of the risks of using embryonic stem cells clinically is because it can become anything, any cells. And that's when it form a cluster of cells of all kinds of tissues, that's what's called a teratoma. And that's the problem, that's the risk associated with, stem cell, with embryonic stem cells. And that's why it's not allowed for clinical use yet, because we haven't been able to fully harness control these embryonic stem cells. So adult stem cells, yes, it is allowed for clinical use um, within certain FDA guidelines. Um, so when we look at adult stem cells, then the two major types will be the birth tissue derived versus people, you know, about from our own age. So let's talk about cells from our own age. So then the stem cells will be of your age. If you are 20, that's 20 year old stem cells. If you are 40, 60, 80, that's how, how old those stem cells are. So then you can imagine these cells will have been with you all this time. And if you've gone through all the environmental assaults that your body has gone through, the UV lights, the, the toxins in the environment, um, the oxi oxidative damages, so the free radicals that's forming, that can damage your DNA. So there's more accumulation in DNA changes, in, in various uh, damages um, in, in, the, in the cell structure itself. And then also, um, it's not as metabolic active is just not quite as ready to work so do they work yes so because clinically there has been some success of course um, and another benefit of these adult derived stem cells uh, is that they're perfectly matched to yourself you're giving it to yourself so that's called autologous transplant um, but these cells the older you get and the sicker you are that means these cells potentially are sicker as well and if you carry some kind of condition that has a genetic component then those components are also embedded in those stem cells. Whereas you, if you look at umbilical cord stem cells, of course the origin of the cells matter if it's care, carefully screened and the, the baby comes from a very, very healthy family and has perfect prenatal history. Uh, potentially, this is a very, very healthy cell. And these cells are a lot more metabolically active. They are more... Uh, more resistant as far as resistant to, um, to aging and uh, they're just more robust, uh, e easier to survive and they also secrete more anti-inflammatory factors. They secrete more growth factors to, to stimulate the local cells to help them to, 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 to come back, to come to work and to regenerate tissue. And also they are more neuroprotective protect so there are a lot of benefits that we are finding out that are actually superior in these birth tissue derived stem cells. Uh, so the research is very active, things are moving, and we're finding out more and more about different types. 
Um, but these are some kind of the general overview. And it's, it's, it's a very exciting field and uh, it's constantly moving. So I look forward to keep sharing information with everyone.